Hello and welcome back to Railroader and Arvart Games. And so today we are here with Tide. What up, Tide? What up? Yeah, right? And we are going to turn around and kind of get our passenger service headed underway. So we are down here at the, what is it, the Bryson stop? The Bryson Roundhouse is where we're at right Bryson now. Bryson Roundhouse is where we're at. So we did extend the uh, track. We got a bridge repaired, which opened up the new stop for us. We did turn around and paint our coach. So they got a new paint job. And we did pick up another locomotive. Uh, the other two were two and three, so this one's number one because that's the first one we bought. So it is the Atlantic which I don't know is a four four two, yeah, four four two, big drivers on this thing. It goes super fast. Tide can testify. Mm -hmm. Fifty five ish, ish, <laughs> or so. But great looking model, great looking train. Certainly goes fast. I don't know. It's pretty fun playing with this one. It's great looking train i think we turned around and custom the whistle i'm not even sure to what to be honest a lot of whistle choices in this game so that's pretty cool whatever you might like to do so yeah with that i think we are gonna hit the road huh that's right sweet oh yeah right take a proper seat there we go sweet as of yet, the fireman does not have a job. The fire just got the, you know, fireboxes kind of auto take care of themselves. I know that's been a question I've been asked already, so that's kind of cool. I mean, it's cool. I know it'll be cool if they add fire stuff to it, too, but, you know, for a single running and just figuring out the game and stuff, it's not a bad way to start. So, <laughs> though, always cool to shovel coal and feed the fires, so I'm sure at some point that'll become a thing. Obviously, still early access. Wow. I wonder if I still have my... I bet you I do have the audio turned. Nope, I really don't. I just have the engines turned down so it's not all crazy. Alright, there we go. Good look out the window of some of the stands. Yes, you can run up the stairs, which is cool. Some of the buildings you can get in, some you can't, or you can look inside anyway, some you can't. That's a thing. Uh-oh. Oh, I know why, because I'm still on the other train, so I'll pick this one. Just like, and follow, and that'll get us there get a better look at the outside of the train oh because we're picking up passengers huh i'm like what you doing donald and tide <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense right so passengers kind of auto load as you can see apparently we have 80 passengers waiting oh geez <laughs> so that really is affected the longer you wait the more passengers you obviously get in your stops and then i suppose it's about how long or if they're getting moved or not that's going to be that reputation part of the whole railroad and whether people are happy with your service so that's a thing we'll obviously have to keep up a little bit more on our passengers or get bigger cars so that we don't have to run so often so that probably settles that we've been kind of debating the next step in the railroad and that's probably it a little more passenger capability so we don't have to run every hour <laughs> or every two hours otherwise now it looks like because what we waited a couple hours for the logs right yeah because they were still unloading so that was like i don't know probably four or five hours and then the run up there so it looks like every four hours or something in the game we're gonna have to run passengers to keep it under the max capacity though we don't want to be running you know 10 passengers at a time either so you can't just constantly run it but that'll be the thing to figure out is the we look like we're full man we're full yep ready to roll all, right. all aboard that kind of thing let's go hit it I 
anything creeping into life, huh? Does that thing got a cylinder cocks in there? I have not found them yet. Really? Yeah. They gotta be in there somewhere. That's the break. Door. Are you not numb by your feet? I don't see it. Huh. They're probably around here somewhere. We just haven't found a lamp. Oh, look at that. There's a little lamp over your head. You know that? <laughs> oh, look. There's a little lamp over my head. Did you know that? Look at that. We're getting good ideas. Oh, there's a sunroof too. Check that out. Nice. Yeah. This baby's got options. You know there's a, a cylinder cox thing on here somewhere. We just haven't found it. There we are. Take in a little bit of the look of the locomotives. The locos look great, I gotta be honest. I really like the look of the locos. Done a great job with the textures and stuff, especially, I mean, early access. You would think they have plenty in store and lots more to come, but the look of the game is great. And it's smooth. I mean, that's one thing I have to say. I mean, you, you hear from players across the board, right? Is that the connection's smooth, the interface is good, it's great. I mean, there's. There's no bumps, or or not no bumps, but very little, you know. And that's for the multiple multiple trains around. I mean, yesterday we had what three of them going at a time at one point, and still no kind of problems. Everything was running pretty smooth. But yeah, I didn't have any problems at all yesterday. Yeah, so you know, it's a good sign for things to come. I like how the rails actually are offset, like how you pointed that out. Even the curves, it's actually really cool. There we go, scooting along. 34. We're going 34 there. This one's one of those sights and sounds of the railroad are pretty good on this. Yeah. I do have to give them credit, especially as the sun's going down here, running into the night. There we go. Making a proper ruckus for the crossings. Very nice, Tide. Very nice. <laughs> There you go. Small children, goose, and ducks. Watch out. <laughs> Frogger warning. This one you don't get to build your own track, but they did do a pretty good job and give you some interesting things to deal with along the way, so I do have to say I like the layout. It is kind of nice that the, the area is groomed for the rail. It's kind of nice. Following I, contours? Yeah, it's, you know, like... It's like the track was intended to be here, which is kind of cool, actually. You know what I mean? Because it is how the railroad works, so it's kind of nice that it, that it does have that look. This local, I absolutely dig the heck out of it. I like the, the dual stairs up front. That's so cool. The split staircases. That's so cool. The 
These are great looking logos. And some great wheel arrangement options too, right? Definitely spread out across the board. I mean, not everything's there, but there's a lot there and you have a lot of options. So, and that's upon release. You know, we can only anticipate that they'll be adding, you know, plenty of locomotives, I'm sure, along the way. Absolutely. Can't wait. I'm to looking see. forward to it. Yeah, right? Absolutely. That's the thing. <laughs> That's kind of the thing with this game. Like, at this point, it's like, ooh, 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 kind of really looking forward to see what they do next, you know? That is kind of the thing. Because, I mean, their initial start with this game is great, I have to say. I mean, really impressed with, with the way that it runs. It's very steady multiplayer, you know, which is great. Super cool. And the trains look great. I mean, that's what one thing for me anyway, you know, I'm always, nah, what the train looks like, but these look great. I 100% agree. This is that bridge we fixed, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Woo -hoo. This was the target bridge. Yep. First major operation of the train. Or of the company, I guess. I like how different the coach looks depending on the light that's hitting it, you know? That's really cool. Like they've done a really good job of like light considering this one. You know, all things. That's good. Looks good. The paints are good. The options are cool. It's really nice to actually be able to set your own colors and, you know, that kind of thing is pretty neat. Nice option to have right off the bat. Give your railroad a personality. Exactly, yeah. Totally agree. I mean, it really gives you a way to individualize your stuff, you know, which is a far cry from just slapping a name on it or something like that. It's kind of nice to see. I like the option. I always say the options are the king, right? The more options we have, the better. Yes. I'm not sure if they ever intend on actually putting passengers in the seats, if that's an animation thing that'll come in at some point or not is a little weird, you know, loading passengers and not, but at least they have a good system for it as it works. So it's it's represented well and it's not a hassle, it's not a pain in the butt. That's one thing I'll give them. I do like the realistic dropping off cars and waiting for it rather than jumping over to your crane and slapping stuff on. I have to say I do like that loading method because it's more realistic to, I think, how train operation works, you know. Which is... <laughs> They drop it off and let it get filled. They don't fill it instantly, generally, and run it right out of there. So, this is kind of more train opsy, which is kind of neat. All right. So then, what are we? We're unloading here, right? Correct. Was everybody getting on? No, we still have passengers. They're on going the train off. for Whittier Station. Do we? That's cool. Yes. Are they moving? We're ready to go. Oh, really? They already swapped out? Yes, sir. Oh, dang. All right. Cool. Rock on. Let's do the thing, man. Who do do do? That's cool. Great looking logo. I like how it handles. That's what I was going to ask. You know, you've been running this one quite a bit now that, you know, we've had it a little bit here. Are you like, you really notice a big difference between this one and the other ones? I mean, my, yes. my impression of this one is that it really does handle a lot better. I mean, you've, you know, you feel the power, I guess, a lot more. It's more responsive. Right. I agree. 
Yeah, I think they did a pretty good job of, like, you know, this one's only kind of, you know, I don't know, it's maybe middle of the road for Locos in the game. It's definitely not one of the better ones, so it just was kind of a step to see where they step up in, and you can definitely feel it, so I'm sure by the time you get to some of the big ones, it's, uh, it's a heck of a difference. At least it feels pretty good for middle of the road compared to starting Loco, I guess, is what I'm going off so far. It seems like they did a good job of stepping that up. And where you don't have to achieve like a tier or anything, the money, and I suppose, I don't know, I know there's loans and stuff, we obviously haven't done any of that, we're just kind of running and earning, earning what we can as we go, but... kind of neat the way they open up the locos to you though rather than having to you know do certain things I just kind of like the way that the system works in this I guess so far it's pretty cool like you have multiple options of ways that you could want to go lens for different playthroughs I suppose along the way you know you can start you could run railroads with big loans, run railroads with no loans, that whole kind of thing, and change your game experience, I'm sure, quite a bit. There we go. That's a great looking. That's pretty good looking. Yeah, I don't know. Well, and you have a little bit of experience with these. What are you thinking on the models so far? Yeah, they did, you know. I really do like the models. They look very well done. I would have to give them props for it. Right. Yeah, they did a great job. I like the, uh, especially like the wheel effect. They don't, like, these wheels don't blur out. They have a, a really nice wheel effect. i to be honest. It's good. Gear looks good. Wheels look good. It's nice. You did a good job. So far, so yeah. good. <laughs> That's for sure. The brake cylinders, the driving gear, even the brake pads really impressed with the work in detail they've put into it yeah as so far it's really well thought out I mean it seems like they're you know I don't know it's very well thought out for launch I can say that's what I have to say because you're always like early access you never know right but this seems pretty flushed out and I guess I don't mind seeing that they, you know, they freely are going, hey, we'll add in more stuff at stops and we'll add in buildings that'll look much more fuller and stuff like that going on, which that's fine. That's all stuff you can see coming in. You know, not really that big a deal. The uh, base game and the base game mechanics seem great so far. And very usable. People haven't had a hard time connecting and finding none of that zero complaints no lengthy logins none of that so all seems to be going great for an early game a couple of updates already too which was amazing you know i mean what day one and we saw two updates yesterday in the game yes so that's that was pretty impressive to see that they're obviously right on top of things and prepared to deal with some stuff so that's cool give them credit there it's good to see the water towers are cool I like the big round ones like that so you know they got me with the right water towers <laughs> there we go. nice that you can always see the speed down there too that's pretty good There we go.
Disembark passengers. Final stop on the line, right? That's right. Yeah. Get out. No. <laughs> Feed it. No. End of the line. At least we get paid here, huh? Do we get paid? Yes. Yeah, we get paid. A little something. Not that these passengers, I gotta be honest, boy, these fares. I don't know. There's an argument to be made about raising the rates around here. <laughs> 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 is, I'll tell you what they get a heck of a deal like a dollar a fare or something we need more expensive too we need golden tickets or something get a free coffee with a ride or something that should double the fare you know <laughs> we need to put some luxury in this box put some sports on or something we can charge some extra money we go. We got some time. We might as well look around this loco and see. See how big our payday is. We get to go. This thing's a beast. The size of these drivers, it's just absolutely chunky. <laughs> That's crazy. So awesome though. The standard gauge trades are kind of fun to play around with. Much bigger than what we're used to. There, everybody got off. We got paid. There we go. Now we're getting paid. A hundred and thirteen dollars we got paid for running that fair. So there we go. <laughs> Woohoo! High five! Yeah! Woo! Woo All right. With that one, we're gonna call it a win. And say thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you get a chance, like, share, subscribe. Subscriptions are free, but they sure do help the channel. Y'all have a great day. <laughs>